I'm right here. I wasn't running. Uh, my children are safe. They're doing very well. Those words tonight from the Lampasas County woman accused of kidnapping her three small children. She's now behind bars, turning herself in this morning. Yeah, we were there when she arrived at the Sheriff's Department, and she told me she's ready to get the truth out there. Arm in arm with her oldest son and a friend, Christine Whitehead turned herself into authorities after five days on the run. Right now, I'm turning myself in to, to cease all this uh, nonsense about these Amber Alert, the, the children being uh, in imminent danger. I'm right here. I wasn't running. Once inside the jail, officers patted her down and made sure she did not have any drugs or weapons on her, which she did not. Authorities issued the Amber Alert late Friday after she missed a court date but she says she knew nothing about that hearing. I would have been present. I would have stated my case. I would have, it, it didn't need to go this far. She tells me she took the children to a safe house to protect them from their biological father. Their location, unknown. And the children, they're going to want to know where the kids are. Are you going to tell them? That's it. I don't know what, I don't feel like that's any of their business because they failed to protect my children in the first place. Now she says she's ready to go to court to get justice. I'm here to uh, get in the fight right now, you know what I mean? And, and really bring truth to what's really truly going on. But for now, she sits behind bars. Now, I reached out to her ex-husband's attorney, and he tells me they are not interested in commenting. I just got off the phone with the Lampasas County Sheriff, and he tells me they are looking for the children with the help of the U.S. Marshal Service. A judge set Whitehead's bond today at $110,000. Whitehead claims that the Amber Alert was wrongfully issued when it comes to issuing statewide Amber Alerts. There are five main criteria that must be met. The missing child must be 17 years of age or younger. Law enforcement must believe the missing child was abducted, either unwillingly taken from their environment without permission from a legal guardian. Officers believe that the child is in danger of seriously bodily harm or death. An investigation had been conducted and law enforcement has verified that an abduction has taken place or ruled out alternative explanations. And essential information regarding the child, suspect and vehicle can be released to the public.